Thousands of years later, we call it good because of what it did for all of us. And it lets me know that some of my most traumatizing seasons and some of your most traumatizing seasons, seasons where you wanted to die, seasons where you wanted to give up, seasons where you wanted to commit suicide, seasons where you didn't want to live, seasons where you didn't want to get out of bed, seasons where you didn't feel like loving anybody, seasons where you didn't even think that you were lovable, seasons where things were being lost, seasons where people were leaving you, seasons where sickness was in your body, seasons where all of your strength was gone, seasons when you couldn't cry anymore, seasons when the doctors had no answers, seasons where you couldn't sleep at night, seasons where your mind was running wild, seasons where you couldn't function on the job, seasons where you couldn't get out of bed to go to the job, seasons where you went to get a shower and it turned into a two-hour cry session, seasons where life was going from bad to worse. Isn't it crazy that if you give it some time, that which was once traumatizing, that which was once bloody, that which was once dead can actually become something good. Oh, wait a minute, Paul. It is he that worketh all things together for our good. David said it was good that he afflicted me. Guess what? If God steps into your life, don't be surprised if your bad season becomes your good Friday one day. If your bad season becomes the thing that makes sense, the thing that helps people, the thing that brings deliverance to people, the thing that gives people hope, the thing that makes people keep pressing. Say it was good.